Hey guys, Mr. Joel here. Welcome to Main Street Live. We're so glad that you're here. Now, it's actually Thursday before class, and we have a very special guest speaker on Sunday, and he needs something for his story. He needs some blue sheets, you know, like tablecloths. Well, we aim to please, and we'll take care of you. However, there's one problem. Those blue tablecloths are on the third floor. Now, the only way that you can get up there is through the elevator with a special key. And one problem, it's kind of scary up there. So, if you guys will go with me, we'll go get those tablecloths. We'll have everything set up for Sunday so you guys get a great lesson, all right? Oh, I heard the ding bell. It's coming. Here we go. Okay, follow me. Now, the reason why I'm talking kind of silent is because I'm kind of scared of the dark. Actually, when I was a little kid, I was really scared of the dark. Oh man, if I was in my house and I was supposed to go somewhere, I wanted an adult to go with me. And if I had to be in a room by myself, I wanted all the lights on, because man, was I scared. Oh, well, it got to be really bad, where my parents were kind of concerned about me. And you know what's interesting is they came to me and they said, hey, Joel, uh, this fear thing you have with the dark, that's not real healthy. And I said, I know, I know, but, but it's, it's scary. Well, they went on to tell me about Jesus and how when Jesus is our savior, not only does he save us from sin, he reunites us with God, but he also is with us at all times. And I said, I want Jesus with me at all times. And so at that point is when I became a Christian. Now, because I was a little kid, I didn't fully understand it, but that was okay. As I got older, I was able to reconfirm things and it made a lot more sense. Now we're upstairs and man, is it dark. I don't know if you can see, but if you go that way, it's dark. And if you go that way, it's dark. Which way should we go? Okay, that way? All right, here we go. I tell you what. You guys go first ahead of me, and that way, if there's something up there, you can let me know, and I can run back, and I'll push the elevator for both of us, and we'll get out of here in time. Okay, so here we go. Let's kind of go fast. Oh, man. Did you hear anything? You guys listen. Oh, boy. Where could it be? I don't know. Boy, I'm not seeing any tablecloths around here. Quick, 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 quick. We gotta go fast, we gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Oh man, it's the big dark room. I see the big dark room. Oh boy, I'm getting nervous. Oh, but wait a minute. I remember Jesus is with me and you know what? Once he's with you, he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Oh boy, I do feel a little bit better. I'd kind of forgotten that. Hey, guess what? Here's the tablecloth. I think we're good. You know, even though I'm not real scared, I think I'm gonna go back downstairs and get this set up for Mr. Berkeley, because that's what he'll want. Okay, come with me. All right, good job. Now, we're gonna push the, the elevator, and, and we're gonna go downstairs. Oh, why does it always take so long for elevators to come? I don't know, but I think it's coming. I, I hear things, I hear the grind. I'm just gonna stand over here in the light while we're waiting. I think we're good. Come on, guys, this way. All right. We're gonna push two, and then I'm gonna take these to the Main Street Live Room. All right, now, when I get in there, Mr. Berkeley's gonna come up on stage. And when he comes, I want you guys to sit up straight, point your nose right at him, and be really quiet, and show him what an awesome audience you can be. Oh man, this is gonna be good. All right, are you ready? One. 